When I first started managing this property, I had a mess to clean up. The landscaper dug trenches in the yard when he cut wet grass. And the tenants would either cut corners when they pulled in or park right on the grass. They had this huge parking lot and yet they'd still park on the grass or cut corners to get to the building on the left. It was making me nuts. I'd catch them parking on the grass, but it wasn't just one, and as soon as I was gone, they'd do it again. Everybody in the left side building cut that corner. So I went out and rented a dingo. And I had about two tons of item four dumped in the parking lot. And dingoes are slow to work with, but they got the job done. Came out good. Problem solved, right? Nope, because then came the rain. And it kept rain. And the water that couldn't fit through the culvert washed up over the side and came down the front yard, across the driveway, filled the parking lot, and just washed out everything. Then there was winter. The plow trucks would drive on the grass. I had to use a snow blower half the time so cars could get out. So I finally started talking to the owners about building curbs and fixing the parking lot permanently. They didn't want to spend the money, but spending money every spring to fix the parking lot was just a waste. It would have cost about $65,000 to have everything graded properly and drainage grates and pipes for the water to pass underneath the parking lot. But I got the curbs built and a concrete pad for the dumpsters and an asphalt driveway and parking lot for about $26,000. Okay, so we are done. We are done. We are done. 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 And there it is. I've been waiting over two years to see this happen. Over the weekend, we put down, uh, we put down lines. One of the lessons I learned in this, because I didn't know anything about this, and I used contractors for the curb, who were great for the price uh, but not completely experienced uh, was that there were some deviations in the widths the forms spread out when all that concrete went in there so that's something I didn't know something I learned along the way you can see especially here where this one bowed out and I'm finding that even though it's only been a few weeks, uh, it's interesting where they made their cuts for cracks. Uh, cracks form always in concrete. Usually what's done are relief joints are made in finishing the concrete with a trowel so that it's a weak spot which forms a natural breaking point. Another way to do it, which is the way they did it, is to come back when it's hard uh, when it's cured with a demo saw and cut a relief line and in this case it worked interesting right you can see it cracked there and this one you can't tell if it's cracked yet but there is one I saw where it did crack uh, perfectly along that relief point and then there's another spot I saw where it didn't it cracked in the middle in between relief points 
The other thing, and this is more important, is they didn't make the curbs perfectly even. So this one, you end up with about four and a half, five inches sticking up. And on this side, we have, at some points, it looks like an inch and three quarters, maybe two inches sticking up. And the road guy told me the asphalt paver, we used Alex Call, they're great so fast they work very fast he said look i've got to build my road along the the ground i can't build it to the curbs i need it to have uniform thickness uh, and i'm totally with him on that here's an interesting spot where they made a relief cut but it cracked just to the left of it anyway so you know, is it going to matter whether uh, one side is a little lower than other? Is anybody really going to notice? The bigger concern for me is uh, the water. When the water runs off on this road, it always came down this side along this curb, uh, you know, before the curb was here and washed out the ground here. I'm just hoping it doesn't go... Uh, high enough to reach that curb and drag a bunch of mud and stuff onto the asphalt. But otherwise, uh, this has been a great project. A lot learned on this uh, about grading and dealing with uh, contractors. Uh, I'd be ha happy to answer any questions you have. I can't find the spot I saw where it cracked far from the relief. The other thing was the lines. We chose to use a painted on uh, product, a, uh, uh, a gallon of latex striping paint. I made sure one the first side on each side was square, and then I just made each line uh, square to the previous one. I used tape, uh, cheap painter's tape, not that expensive blue stuff, and uh, got it done in about four hours, I guess. We angled the pad to accommodate for the trucks, I didn't want to move the pad too far to the right so that it would be straight on with the driveway and easy, uh, perfectly easy for the trucks because that would limit the number of parking spaces 707 has. So what I ended up doing was I just tilted it, turned it on an angle so the guy can come in use the forks, pick up the cans, throw it over, and then in one, uh, what is it, K-turn, back up and pull back out. And the biggest damage to this will be from the trucks that come and go. And so I wanted to reduce that as much as possible. That's also why the pad is stuck out long in the front, because the way the truck that picks these up is designed is all the weight and the wheels are right up front by the windshield. And so when he stops with momentum uh, and that downward force, it'll be on concrete. So we won't end up with grooves like you often see at, uh, at red lights, at like intersections where over time cars stopping have created these uh, grooves. One of the things that had bothered me most was that it was a lousy place for kids to play. It was tough to ride their bikes and impossible for skateboards and scooters. My biggest rewards began to come after they poured the concrete for the dumpster pad. In that first couple of days, before I let the cars on it, while I painted the lines, they had it all to themselves.
Man, I learned so much on this job. And I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about the process. It was fulfilling to see it done in the end, before going back to the normal problems in a college town and the students come back.